In earlier training videos, we learned how to apply formatting to the contents of a cell or range of cells or even the cells themselves. Here I want to introduce you to Cell Styles. It's a collection of formats that you can apply to a cell or a range of cells in a single click. And to see if you like any of these pre-built-in format styles, let's go ahead and take a gander. By coming up here on the Home tab to the Styles group, and it's right there, Cell Styles, you can see when I hover over it, the pop-up says a colorful style is a great way to make important data stand out on the sheet. Ooh, I'm sold. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow to see if we have anything that we like. And it's categorized like the good, bad, and neutral. Now because it says that, it doesn't mean that when you select one, well better yet, hover over one, and whatever cell or range of cells you have selected in your worksheet, it'll give you a preview of it. So keep your eye on this as I hover over bad. Now does it change the text to bad? No, it just changes it to red. But the purpose of the style is to apply it to cells that are bad, they're naughty. Or if they're good, and we're making a lot of sales, then go ahead and use the good. So to apply one, just go ahead and click on it, and there you go. If you can't see it because it's cut off, just hover in between the two column headers, double-click really fast, and that looks good. Now, if you like the majority of the style, but you want to tweak it, go ahead and come back up here, click on Cell Styles, find it, then right-click on it, and you get a bunch of options in the shortcut menu. You can go ahead and apply it, but you can do that by clicking on it. You can modify it, which I'll show you in just a minute. You can duplicate it. So that way you don't touch the original. You can create a duplicate of it and then make changes to it so you still have the original template. Or you can delete it. I'm not going to do that. So if you want to go ahead and modify it, select it. opens up the window here. And you can see down below that it's only including font, border, and fill. If you want to modify it, so instead of being Arial 10, go ahead and click on the Format button and go to the Font tab. You can see Arial size 10. You can make it size 18. I'm not going to modify it. Click Cancel because I don't want to mess with my original. So that brings up a good point. Let me click Cancel. Click on the drop-down arrow. Right-click on it again and Duplicate. So it opens it up and you can go ahead and give it a name. And then click on Format. Choose the different formats that you want. And if you don't want to include one, then just go ahead and uncheck it. And if you do want to include it, then check it. And then the default for the alignment is the general bottom aligned. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. Now, speaking of duplicate, basically you're creating a new style. So if you like a style, you can just come back up here, click on Cell Styles, and go down and say, I want a new cell style. Click on it, opens it up, go ahead and give it a name, and then click on Format and choose whatever you want to apply to that cell style, including the number format, how you align the contents of a cell, the font, the font type, whether it's going to be bold or not, underline color, border, any fill. I'm going to go ahead and close out. And then you can go ahead and give it a name, then click OK, you'll have a style. Or, if you'd like, another way to create the style besides doing it this way is to go ahead and click Cancel and apply the formats to a range of cells and after you apply it, you can actually create a new cell style based upon your selection. So with my selection, I can go ahead and click the bucket here and choose a nice fill color. And then maybe a border, something outside, not too thick. And let's do something complementary. Let's do dark blue and then make the contents bold. And as far as alignments, let's align it to the center. And then with it selected, you can come back up here to Cell Styles and go down and click on New Cell Style. And what it does is it brings in everything in the selection over here so you don't have to go ahead and click on Format and choose those formats. So like we chose the fill, and that's what we got there, the fill, so it's automatically pulling it in for us. And if you want to do additional tweaks, then go ahead and do it here. Otherwise, let me click Cancel and say this is going to be my style. It's going to be my fun style. And then click OK, and that's it. So if I want to apply the fun style to another range, go ahead and select the range, or even a cell. Come back up here, click Cell Styles, and hey, there's our fun style that, of course, you can right-click on and modify, duplicate, um, delete, or apply, and applies it to the selected range. Cool. Finally, if you have a workbook that has a style that you'd like to merge into your workbook because you don't want to recreate it, for example, let me minimize this down to the taskbar on my desktop. Let's see, there's my original workbook that we're working in, Create Manage Styles, and then there's one that's called Number 2. So if I double-click on that and open it up, in this workbook, when I click on Cell Styles, it's got its own custom spiffy style. So if I want to bring that over into, let me come down here on the taskbar and click on the corresponding button for the original workbook that we've been working in thus far, and bring it over into here and to merge it, because you can see up here, I don't get the spiffy there, but to bring it over, you got to have the other workbook open, because if you don't, you won't be able to see it. So now that I have the other workbook open that I want to 
take a copy of the style, merge it into this one, then come down here and click on Merge Styles. It says, do you want to go ahead and merge it from this workbook? Select it, say okie dokie. And then it says, merge styles that have the same names, yes or no. Because if they have the same names, it'll overwrite yours. And you can say no. And then that way it won't overwrite yours. But it did bring over the spiffy because it didn't have the same name as the style that I had up here. Let me click on it, the fun style. So hey, there it is. Now I can go ahead and use it. Select a range, click on it, apply it. I'm good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.